Hi, and welcome to today's video sales tip. My name is Chuck Morgan. You know, there's a fine line between being an average salesperson in RV sales and being a true top producer in RV sales. One of those fine lines is the difference between being a teller and being a seller. Tellers in sales simply give out information. They're not much more than a walking brochure. Sellers, on the other hand, gather information from the customer. This helps to assess the customer's needs properly and the reasons that they want an RV to begin with. Having this type of information is important to our ability to close. Tellers leave decisions up to the customer, which only opens everyone up to reflex objections. Sellers, on the other hand, speak with conviction and belief and earn the customer's trust. They also earn the right to ask for the customer's business. Tellers simply present features, telling the customer about all the stuff that an RV has on it and how great it is. Sellers, on the other hand, first determine what's important to the customer, then align the RV's features with the customer's needs by pointing out the benefits to the customer. Try this word track next time and watch what happens. Mr. and Mrs. Customer, there's probably a million things that I could tell you about this RV, but let me ask you, what's important to you? Wow, talk about a time saver for you and the customer. Many times a customer will thank you just for asking this question because they've been to other dealers where all they do is tell them how great the product is and forget about the most important part of the sale, the customer. Tellers in sales avoid hard-hitting questions so they can avoid objections for fear that they won't have the answers. Top sellers, however, risk rejection and dig for objections. They have no fear of asking the necessary questions knowing that they might get an objection. Sellers understand that without objections, we don't have anything to close on. When all the objections are gone, we have a deal. Tellers try to win by sharing their knowledge. Sellers win by focusing on the customer's why, why they want an RV to begin with, the true emotional reasons for a customer's wanting an RV. What's the customer trying to get away from or pursue? You see, we all do things for one of two reasons, to avoid pain or move towards pleasure. That's it. Tellers have a tendency to be reactive and ask questions like why, at the wrong time or worse yet, with the wrong type of customer. Sellers, on the other hand, are highly proactive in the selling process and in the conversation. Sellers are always listening proactively for the hidden clues and objections that are the reasons a customer believes that they can't buy today. Tellers want structure and stability in their careers. Sellers, however, accept uncertainty in sales as the norm and don't let it affect their purpose. Tellers simply identify the customer's needs. Sellers, on the other hand, identify those needs, then intensify those needs by showing how an RV is going to solve a problem or move towards a goal. This helps build emotions and excitement and helps the customer make a buying decision. Tellers wait for the customer to come onto the lot and they complain if there isn't enough floor traffic. Sellers, on the other hand, come to work to work. They don't come to work to wait. Sellers actively pursue business inside and outside the store by consistently looking for repeat and referral business. So the choice is yours. Which do you want to be, a teller or a seller? Until next time, my name is Chuck Morgan. Thanks for watching and remember to sell on purpose.